Have you ever wondered if holding on to your relationship is actually holding you back? It's a poignant question that many find themselves pondering in the quiet moments of reflection. Often the fear of being alone or the comfort of familiarity keeps us tethered to relationships that have long ceased to be beneficial. But what are the signs that you're clinging too tightly to a relationship that no longer serves you? It starts with feelings of constant anxiety or dissatisfaction. You might notice that your conversations have dwindled to mere formalities, or that you're always the one making sacrifices. Perhaps there's a persistent sense of unfulfillment, a nagging thought that you're just going through the motions rather than genuinely enjoying the connection. Understanding these signs is crucial. They are not just minor roadblocks, they are indicators that your emotional well-being could be at risk. By acknowledging these feelings, you begin to peel back the layers of your relationship dynamics. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards understanding the impact on your emotional health. When relationships falter, our emotions take the first hit. It's a familiar story for many, where the heartache of a failing partnership begins to seep into every aspect of life. Today we delve into the emotional consequences of clinging to a relationship that has already run its course. The first consequence many face is a significant drop in self-esteem. Imagine constantly questioning your worth because you're tethered to a relationship that no longer brings joy or growth. This questioning can spiral into a daunting, self-fulfilling prophecy where one feels they don't deserve happiness or better treatment. Therapists often talk about chronic stress in this context. It's not just the everyday stress of work or life, but a deep, persistent strain that comes from unresolved relationship conflicts and the fear of the unknown if one were to leave. This type of stress can cloud judgment, making it even harder to make the healthy decision to step away. Emotional exhaustion is another critical impact. It's like running a marathon with no finish line in sight. You give and give emotionally until you're running on empty. This exhaustion isn't just about feeling tired, it's about feeling emotionally depleted, where you have nothing left to give, not to your partner, and sadly, not to yourself or others who might need you. Many therapists emphasize the psychological toll of staying in unhappy relationships. They point out that it can lead to a distorted view of what a healthy relationship should look like, potentially normalizing discomfort, sadness, or even mistreatment. This misalignment can skew one's perceptions in future relationships, often for the worse. It's also worth considering the broader impacts, such as the effect on one's overall mental health. The longer one stays in a detrimental relationship, the more severe the psychological ramifications can be, ranging from depression and anxiety to a pervasive sense of hopelessness. It's crucial to acknowledge these emotional signals rather than dismissing them. Recognizing and addressing these feelings isn't just about healing. It's about preparing for a future where emotional well-being is a priority. Understanding these signs can be the first step towards a healthier, happier life. It's not just your mind, your body reacts too. When a relationship takes a toll on your emotional well-being, it invariably impacts your physical health. It's a phenomenon well documented in numerous studies. For instance, the strain of a failing relationship can disrupt your sleep. You might find yourself either wrestling with insomnia or oversleeping as a way to escape the stress. Night after night of disturbed sleep not only leaves you exhausted, but can also weaken your immune system over time. Then there's your appetite. Some might lose their desire to eat, leading to significant weight loss and nutrient deficiencies. Others might find comfort in food, which can lead to weight gain. These changes in eating habits are not merely about willpower, they're often manifestations of deeper emotional turmoil. Furthermore, chronic stress from relationship difficulties can trigger more severe health issues. Elevated stress levels are known to increase blood pressure and the risk of heart disease. They can also exacerbate conditions like asthma or diabetes by making the body's normal processes go haywire. In a particularly revealing study, researchers found that individuals in high-stress relationships exhibited higher levels of inflammatory markers in their blood. These markers are linked to a host of health problems including arthritis and heart conditions, underscoring how deeply relationship stress can affect physical health. Remember, while these symptoms might be common, they are not trivial. They are your body's way of signaling that something isn't right. Your body often knows something is wrong before your mind accepts it. Are your social life and personal growth on pause? When entangled in the web of a failing relationship, it's not just the heart that suffers. The ripple effects extend far into one's social existence and personal development. Often, without realizing it, 
individuals may find themselves retreating from social activities they once enjoyed, distancing themselves from friends and family. This isolation isn't just a mere side effect, it's a profound transformation of one's social identity. Consider this scenario. Weekly meetups with friends become less frequent, interests that once sparked excitement are now backburnered, and personal ambitions seem to be perpetually on hold. This isn't unusual. According to relationship experts, when individuals invest excessive emotional energy into salvaging a failing relationship, other areas of life invariably suffer. Experts emphasize the vital role that social interactions play in our overall well-being. Engaging with others, sharing experiences, and simply enjoying casual social outings are not just activities, they are lifelines that maintain our mental health and emotional balance. When these connections fade, so does a part of our vitality. In terms of personal growth, stagnation is a common consequence in strained relationships. When so much of one's focus is fixated on resolving relational discord, there's little energy left for self-improvement or pursuing new interests. Life coach and author Dr. Jane Goodall notes, Personal growth is an ongoing process of understanding and developing oneself in order to achieve one's fullest potential. It is vital for your personal well-being, your relationships, and your general happiness. When trapped in a failing relationship, this process is often interrupted or completely halted, leaving one's potential untapped. The irony here is that by clinging to a relationship that's already slipping through the cracks, one might be missing out on opportunities to develop into a person capable of fostering a healthier, more fulfilling relationship in the future. Remember, the essence of personal and social growth lies in expansion and exploration, not contraction and withdrawal. Growth is about moving forward, not standing still. Every relationship teaches us something, but what if it's teaching you fear? Often the shadows of failed relationships linger, casting doubts and fears into the future connections we try to build. This scene delves into how past negative experiences can sow seeds of distrust or fear, affecting how we approach new relationships. When a relationship ends, especially on a sour note, it's not just the memories that stay with us but also the emotional responses to those memories. This phenomenon is often referred to as relationship baggage. It includes all the insecurities, distrust, and defensive mechanisms developed from past hurts. For instance, if someone has been betrayed, the fear of experiencing that pain again might make them overly cautious or suspicious in their next relationship. This baggage does not just cloud our judgment but can also prevent genuine connections. It's like going through life with a heavy backpack filled with fears and doubts making every step towards intimacy a laborious one. To move forward it is crucial to unpack this baggage. Approaching future relationships with a fresh perspective means being aware of this baggage and consciously deciding not to let it dictate the dynamics of new relationships. It involves understanding that each new relationship is a distinct chapter, not a continuation of the previous ones. Healing from past relationships involves introspection, perhaps therapy, and definitely a lot of self-compassion. To truly embrace new relationships it's essential to address and heal from these past wounds, Remember, carrying the past into the future can weigh down new beginnings. Knowing when to let go is as important as knowing how to hold on. It's a delicate balance, isn't it? Recognizing the right time to move on from a relationship might just be one of the most crucial decisions one might face. Start by asking yourself, am I more often sad than happy? A relationship should be a source of joy and support, not a constant cause for stress or sadness. If the scales have tipped more towards sorrow than joy, it might be time to reassess. Another critical question to ponder is, are my needs being met? Whether emotional, physical or intellectual unmet needs can lead to resentment and a feeling of isolation within the relationship. Reflect on the growth aspect too. Ask, are we growing together or growing apart? If it feels like paths are diverging and goals are no longer aligned, holding on might be hindering personal growth. Lastly, consider communication. If efforts to resolve conflicts lead nowhere, it might indicate that both parties are no longer on the same wavelength. Sometimes, strength lies in letting go. Change is inevitable and often, it's for the better. As we've explored throughout our discussion, clinging to a failed relationship can have far-reaching consequences. It's not just about the heartache or the emotional turmoil, it extends to physical stress and the stagnation of personal and social growth. When emotional and physical consequences become a daily reality, it's a sign that something fundamental isn't working. And while it's natural to fear the unknown, remember, growth often requires stepping out of our comfort zones. 
Moreover, holding on to the past can severely impact your readiness and openness to future relationships. It can create barriers, not just around your heart, but also in your ability to connect and build with someone new. Recognizing when to let go is crucial. It's about listening to the cues all around you and within you. Understanding that letting go isn't giving up, but rather moving forward. Embrace change and open the door to new possibilities in life.